Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, hope you're all safe and healthy and doing well. Let's get right to our uh, video for today. I have a bunch of questions and answers that people have sent in. I'm going to do half of them today. I'll do the other half on Monday. And um, in fact, for some of these questions, I'm going to ask a few of you to email me back and kind of follow up so that we can discuss what you're asking. Um, okay, first person wrote to me, are we allowed to change our articles? Um, person who wrote this, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Can you please email me with some more details? Uh, what do you mean? What is it that you're looking to change? And uh, why do you wanna change it? If you can email me back with those uh, answers, we can, we can talk about this because I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. Second person asked, question, why do you keep giving us essays about this crisis? It's getting very tiresome and it's really not helping my anxiety. For once, I just want to write about anything else. I just physically can't write these essays for the sake of my mental state. I would literally write about anything else but this. All right, let me, um, back up a little bit. And let me tell you about how I used to do this class and how I got, how we got to this point. Um, I used to, uh, when, I, when I got a comp one class, we would read some essays and students would write about them. We'd read some short stories and the students would write about them. We'd watch a movie and the students would write about that. And all through the semester, we'd read a memoir longer book. We'd read it over the course of the semester. And at the end of the semester, the students would write about that. So I did that for several years and it, it was very successful. And then the department came to me and said, uh, we don't want you to do that anymore. The class is now writing arguments and we want the students just to write, to read essays. And that's it. And then write about essays. So I said, fine, that's, that's cool. I can do that. Um, I, I did not, however, want to assign my students a textbook, and we talked about that on the first day of class. I did not want to assign my students a really expensive textbook, read, you know, a fraction of the essays that were in the textbook, and then have you return it at the end of the semester for a fraction of what you paid for it. So we in composition instructors are allowed to theme our class around anything we want. So I said, okay, I'll theme it around current events and we will read your text will be the New York Times. And it's much more uh, inexpensive. You just subscribe to it for a semester. And at the end of the semester, you can cancel your subscription. And that's what we do. And the department said, that'd be fine. So cool. So I did it that way for several, several years, very, very successfully. And then this semester came and we have come to this story that has dominated the news like very few stories I've ever seen dominate the news in my life. Something we couldn't have seen uh, when the, the class started in mid January. Um, I've been trying to choose the least dire, the least uh, uh, anxiety provoking articles that I could. Um, and in fact, uh, this essay, essay three, is actually the first and only essay that I've assigned you that asks you to directly address this crisis. Um, in fact, Essay one was about gender roles in movies, right? Essay two asked, in your view, to what extent can the American institutions we depend on every day effectively keep us safe? Can and should the American public trust these institutions? Why or why not? And I wrote in the assignment, in your essay, you can, but are not required to address the coronavirus outbreak. So, you were not required to address um, the crisis in SA2. You didn't have to write about the crisis at all. 
Um, this is something that we discussed specifically in class when we were all together. Uh, so if you, if you chose to write about it, then that was your choice. Um, so again, essay, this is the first time that I'm, that I have an assignment asking you to write, or an essay assignment at least, asking you to write about the, uh, the crisis that we're all in now. Um, still, I, I would like to, person who wrote me that question, and it's a perfectly valid question, um, I would like to discuss your specific uh, situation with you. So if you can please uh, email me and uh, we can set up a time to talk during my virtual office hours, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, between 2 and 3 p.m. Okay, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 2 to 3 p.m., we can Skype or we can talk on the phone. I do want to talk to you about uh, your situation so that we can talk about it and resolve it in a way that will, you know, help you, but still uh, be able to um, uh, fulfill a requirement from the class, okay? As I've told, you know, I've had a, a few students write to me with um, uh, specific challenges that they're facing in this, again, very weird, unprecedented um, uh, situation that we're in. And I have told every one of them, and person who sent me that last question, I wanna tell you as well, my goal is to set you up to succeed and to be a better writer at the end of the semester than the beginning of the semester. So let's set up a time to talk and you know, we'll, we will work something out, I promise, all right? Um, okay, question two. Um, I had two questions that were kind of, um, uh, again, along the same vein, having to do with the uh, wording of the assignment, it sounds like. I just, all right, um, okay. So one person asked, when you mention what specific areas will pose the most difficult challenges as we go through this transitional process, are you referring to the psychological, social, economic, economic areas or something else? Um, I had another person ask, so many papers here, let me see if I can find it. Um, there it is. For the second bullet point where the assignment asks, what specific areas will pose the most difficult challenges as we go through this process? Will it be most difficult on us psychologically, socially, economically, politically? Will it be some combination of these elements or will it be something else completely? Is this asking us to explain what these elements and how they are affected in general? or is it asking us to relate these areas to each other? Okay, so um, person who wrote the first question, um, I'm not referring to any area. I want you to choose a specific area, all right? And by specific, I just looked up the definition, clearly defined and identified. So I want you in your essay to address some specific areas that the transition period will be challenging to society. Which specific area is your choice? That's up to you. Um, and getting to the, the second question that I just asked, uh, just read, when I listed those areas, um, psychological, social, economical, political. When I listed those areas, those are just examples of areas that you can address. You can address one of them. You can address a combination of them. You can address something completely different and not mention those at all, okay? I'm just asking what, what your assignment is directing you to do is to come up with specific areas that will prove challenging to our society 
as we go through that transitional period that the author writes about in the New York Times essay. All right. Um, again, it's, it's your choice. I suggested a few, but I also wrote after those suggestions, will it be some combination of those elements or will it be something else completely? So in asking you that, in wording it that way, I gave you the freedom and the option to pick other areas completely, right? I suggested some and told you, you can use these or whichever ones you choose, all right? So for those of you who may have been tripped up by that question, that's what I was doing, is, is just here are some suggestions, but you can find others of your own, all right? Um, okay, another question someone asked is, can we add our opinion on what the back to normal stage will be like and then explain or get into deal, detail on it? The answer to that question is sure you can, as long as it supports your thesis and that thesis addresses the assignment. This is what we've been leading up to. This is, uh, you know, this whole semester. This is what we've been talking about this whole semester. You have to have a thesis. The thesis has to address the assignment. So person who wrote this question, I don't want an essay that just says the back to normal uh, transitional stage will be very difficult and here's what it will be like. And then you just describe what that stage will be like. I don't want that. I don't want just a description of what that stage will be like. I want you to tell me what the most difficult parts of that period are. You see the difference that I'm saying here? Um, so can you add your opinion on what it will be like and then explain or get into detail about it? Sure, as long as you're supporting a thesis that asks that question. You're getting into, uh, you're explaining what it will be like and getting into detail about it will be supporting a different point. It will not in itself be the point of the essay. Okay, I hope that's clear. If that's not clear, person who wrote the question or anyone else in the class, please email me and we'll, I'll be happy to discuss it further, okay? You can even email it to me um, by, I'd say like Sunday, so that I see it in time uh, to address it in Monday morning's video, all right? So if that's not clear to anyone, please ask, all right? Um, I'm going to throw in your attendance question here. Okay, thought of one. <laughs> what is the name of the actor who plays the character Vision in the Avengers movies? I'm guessing most of you have seen all the event, most if not all of the Avengers movies. What is the name of the actor who plays the character Vision in the Avengers movies? Email that to me and I'll know that you watch this video. All right, now for Monday, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, today, you have due your working thesis. You should have that uh, submitted to me um, actually by now, because it's due at 9 a.m. So if you don't have it submitted to me, get it into me ASAP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send one of your classmates' thesis to you anonymously. So in other words, you're going to get a thesis from your class, one of your classmates, you won't know who it's from, but you're going to get one of your classmates working thesis. There is a prompt in the homework assignment on Blackboard that will direct you to answer questions about that thesis. Write out your answers to those questions and send that back to me by Monday at 9 a.m. when this homework assignment's due, all right? So later today, when I know I have as many of your theses as possible, I am going to send out theses to everyone who submitted one, 
If you didn't submit one, you're not going to get one. But um, if you've submitted a thesis, you're going to get a thesis from one of your classmates anonymously. Go to Blackboard. There will be prompts to answer questions about that thesis. Send that back to me, and that's due by Monday at 9. All right, and the assignment is on Blackboard. Okay. That's it for today. I gave you a longer uh, video to watch on Wednesday, so we're going to wrap this up here. On Monday, um, we're going to answer the rest of your questions. The two people who I asked to get back to me, please get back to me. Um, if you need to talk to me, please set up a time again during my virtual office hours on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between two and three. There's your email address. If you have any questions, problems, anything that you need to discuss with me, that's where you can reach me. If you need to reach me for any reason, actually, you should send it to this address because um, I check my Southern email at least once or twice a day, but when you send it to this email, I get it right away on my phone. So that's the best place to email me. All right. Okay, so listen, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and um, I will see you here again on YouTube on Monday. All right, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.